Hello, YouTube. This is Dakota from Bowtie Media, and picture this. It is late 2010, and the year has already given us some incredible gems, like Justin Bieber's Baby, uh, the Angry Birds app hit the App Store for the first time, and Skrillex had just dropped Scary Monsters and Nice Sprites. At this point in history, EDM is starting to kind of bubble up and rise into mainstream commercial pop music, and hot off the stove is the Black Eyed Peas with two uh, pretty popular dance records in the end and the beginning. Wanting to capitalize on this new electronic dance craze that was making its way through the pop airwaves, Will I Am decided to venture on his own solo track, and he wanted to go hard. The calendar flips over from 2010 to 2011, and the very first day, January 1st, 2011, Will I Am drops the... Now, before we go any further, if you don't know the song and or don't remember it up to this point, please don't click away. Let me just take you on an absolute journey because this song is one of the greatest songs in music history. First things first, the title, The. That is literally it. It's The. It stands for The Hardest Ever. The. Straight up, this has got to be one of the worst titles a song can possibly have. You can't use one of the words in an acronym as the acronym. And the, that is literally the most common used word in the English language, and he used it twice in the title alone. We're already off to a great start here. First things first, I know copyright is going to be crazy about this song, and so I will do my best to play snippets from the song in the music video, but uh, just bear with me as we uh, go on this journey. You hit play on the video, and it's an opening shot of Will I Am in some dark, gaseous boiler room of sorts, getting ready, punch in the air, clearly hyping himself up for some great adventure. He gets a notification that we don't actually see as he opens up his probably brand new HTC phone at the time, which we know is HTC because they actually had to track in the logo on top of the phone to make sure the product placement made it. Will I am then decides to text Mick Jagger, I'm on my way, uh, puts his phone into the sleeve of his jacket, takes his glasses off, and starts running. And this is where the song truly begins. Blasting through your speakers is a heavily distorted and dense synth sustain that will never go away from this point forward. A beat that Will I Am proudly proclaims as hard. This beat is so hard. He's getting faster and faster in his run now, and there is a wall clearly ahead of him that he looks like he's going to face plant into, but no, he crashes through that wall and ends up on a bike on the other half of it. And before we get into the first verse of the song, I want to very clearly state something up front here. The lyricism on this song is crazy. Literally batshit insane. For the next four minutes, Will I Am and Company will literally just be naming hard things because the song is called The Hardest Ever or just The. He starts off by name dropping Liquid Swords, which is a Wu Tang album, and then to mention worldwide stadium tours because tours are hard to put on, they're hard to make and perform. Or while stadium tours. Then we get the first of many lyrical motifs that are my personal favorites from this track. Numerous times throughout this song, he will start talking about something in the vague realm of being hard, just to have a kind of pause and then just say something that is anecdotally close to that hard thing. There's no setup for these objects here. He merely just mentions it because it is closely related to the thing he says at the beginning. I am the future, DeLorean doors. Stating that he is the future, Will I Am then just mentions something that is vaguely about the future, which is the DeLorean doors from the DeLorean from Back to the Future. So he just sort of just says something that vaguely relates to the future. And he doesn't just do this once. Oh, he does it over and over again. You want some more proof? I'm a work hard. That's my thesis. This beat is the shit. Feces. What an absolute legend. No one can top the lyrical prowess that is Will I Am. And it wouldn't be a Will I Am track if he's not using his name to further make more puns. I'ma go dumb, smart I am. I'm complicated, hard I am. I'ma go dumb, smart I am. I'm complicated, hard I am. Saying smart I am with a straight face is pure comedy. But to then follow that up with saying hard I am, I am now having an existential crisis. Hard in which way, Mr. Will I am? Please tell me, explain yourself. 
in which way are you hard I am? As the first verse comes to its close, we uh, need to see our Beats speakers here in the car as we are graced by the wonder that is Jennifer Lopez. I must say, this is just peak 2010s. The like heavy dance beat with a popular female singer on the chorus as they dance all sexy. Like this is, this is pure nostalgia for me. Sonically, this is probably actually the best part of the song. Uh, JLo's vocals are fine. The synth melody here is fine. The bass line isn't too overpowering. It kind of all works here a bit. And I don't really want to nitpick for nitpick's sake, but uh, you think you could get a prop armored truck that didn't have a gaping hole in the top of the door? That is a real safety hazard there, Will I Am. Verse two then kicks in and it is just straight lyrical nonsense. You can get that or you can get this. Which he then immediately follows up with. You can call a demon, I'ma call Jesus. I just don't understand how this song is a real song that got made. But we can't revel in that for too long because uh, William needs to name more hard things. We haven't named enough hard things. I'ma go hard like a motherfucking boner. I'ma go hard like a motherfucking boner. What are we doing here? I cannot believe I used to listen to this song when I was younger and just totally didn't think about the lyrics at all. I literally in my head was like, yo, this beat is hard. This is great. How did I miss all of this? But it just gets so much better. In a stroke of pure brilliance, uh, Will I Am jumps out of an Apache helicopter onto a moving bullet train just to deliver the greatest line in music history. Uh, I woke up in the morning, hard like morning, wood in the morning. I woke up in the morning, hard like morning wood in the morning. This is genius. I think this is just peak music right here. I think everything released after this point in history is just a downgrade. Like, I need you to understand how absolutely insane this track is and the fact that we're not even halfway done but alas we must venture forward i get stacks of cash you get cashews i go hard statues i get stacks of cash you get cashews i go hard statues You've done it, Will I Am. Uh, you've gone harder than anyone has ever gone before. Honestly, he has to know how ridiculous this is, right? No one writes this, performs it in a studio, does a music video for it, releases it, and doesn't think to himself, this is crazy. Well, Will I Am joins JLo here for the chorus as she continues to give the floor a lap dance. As we begin to ramp up into something big. The melody transforms into this kind of alarm sound. The visuals are getting faster and faster until we've reached the final form. This is hard. In what I can only describe as an O2 2001 A Space Odyssey, Will I Am has become the first man ever to travel faster than light, and he couldn't have done it without his Beats headphones. The beat is fatter than before, the bass line is heavier than it's been, and we're not even done yet. JLo gets a little bit more time to shine on the chorus here as we have the first and only real kind of actual drop of the song. But keen viewers may remember that this song actually has three people on it. We've heard how hard Will I Am goes. We've seen JLo give a lap dance to the floor, but we haven't quite seen our third person yet. And let me tell you, he's the real star of the show. Like, like an angelic being drifting in space, Mick Jagger joins a song as we've truly reached the climax of this track. And Mick Jagger holds on to that limelight for the rest of the track. And, and I mean it. We literally do not hear J-Lo or Will I Am anymore in the song. It is just Mick Jagger for the last 90 seconds. And because he's the finale here, Mick Jagger feels like he needs to one-up anything that's happened before. So he's trying to go even harder and with even more questionable lyricism. We've heard a lot about things being physically hard, but what about mentally hard? Hard like geometry and trigonometry. Hard like geometry and trigonometry. 
Yes, the subject often taught in grade 10 high school classes, Mick Jagger finds to be hard. But how does he really feel about this? What is he really thinking? This is crazy. Psychology. <laughs> this is crazy. Psychology. Yes, Mick Jagger. This is crazy. Psychology. Mick Jagger continues to rock out on the last bit of this song as uh, all good things must come to an end as our celestial usher here in Mick Jagger uh, takes us into the deep unknown uh, through this, I guess, black hole of sorts. Wh where is, who is Mick Jagger in this storyline here? And why did Will.i.am text him at the beginning, I'm on my way? Does Space Mick Jagger have a phone or something? Does he have an HTC phone too? But my goodness, what a journey of a song, this track. And honestly, as much as it's fun to kind of clown on the ridiculousness of the song, it's kind of fun. Yeah, it's stupid. Yeah, it's ridiculous. But it is kind of peak 2010s where it's just so silly, but you can't help but dance and sing along to it. And that's all that really early pop commercial EDM was in the 2010s. It was stupid but it was fun. In a time where everyone was really experimenting with this new digital sound and how easily it was to add these new synthesized melodies and crazy crushing bass lines, um, nothing really made sense in the music industry and this was part of its charm. But in the end, I think I just need to listen to Will I Am here where you can go hard or you can go home. And I think Will I Am just went too hard for me. So I guess I gotta go home.